So you've uh, purchased a new TV or in need of a new entertainment center. In this video, we hope to help answer some of the questions you may have concerning which one's right for you. Hello, I'm Doug Miller. I'm at Furniture Fair. I've been here for 18 years, been in the business about 28 years. People sometimes have lots of questions when it comes to entertainment stands because they've never bought one for a while. And maybe the TV they bought is uh, more than they've ever had before as far as what it can do. And so my job here is hopefully to help you answer some of those questions so that you get the right one that's gonna work for you and your family. So in this video, we kind of learn what an entertainment center is or what an entertainment stand is and how do we determine which one's the right one for you. What, how big of a role does price play in that? And how big of a role does size play in that? And then of course, finally, if you have additional questions, uh, we're gonna go over what you can do to help get those answers. An entertainment center is something that people buy when they're buying their TV. And it's usually either to put the TV on top of it or sometimes it's just to go underneath it and they've mounted it on the wall, but they still need something to hold their components. So there's all different styles and you know, shapes and colors and stains of entertainment center. Just a matter of what they're looking for. A lot of times they're trying to blend it into their furniture they bought for the room to make the room look gorgeous. Uh, TV stands are a item they need. Um, so they kind of have to work that into being also good looking and match up with the rest of the decor. But there's two things that really play into what size entertainment stand you wanna get. Uh, the first one, of course, is the, what's the size of the TV. The size of the TV, you don't want that to dwarf the cabinet that you're putting it above, just like you wouldn't want a picture to dwarf a fireplace that you put it above, so it just not look balanced. Secondly, what do they put in it? Um, what are they using it for? If that's the case, you need to have make sure it's gonna have enough places for their components. You're gonna know if they need to be dressier and they don't wanna see their components. Um, are they gonna need wood doors, glass doors? How many openings do they need? So it, a lot of stuff plays into it. But that's one particular thing that every customer is gonna have their own specific needs. A lot of the stuff that we carry, uh, there's gonna be a three different size level, uh, kind of a small, medium, and large, uh, depending on what size TV you got. But as far as the main living area where they're gonna put a TV stand a lot of times, they're gonna need probably something that's gonna house 50 inches or bigger. And in fact, most of our TV stands will tell you this one handles most 55, most 60 inch, most 70 inch, because they don't know for sure, because they don't know what is happening with your exact TV, but they're kind of giving you an idea. So when a client comes in to get a TV stand or entertainment center, the one thing I would encourage them to do is measure the wall space they have, and then also measure what the TV size is. If they already own the TV, uh, measure it uh, side to side, top to bottom, and also, if you're going to buy a TV and you kind of know which one you're going to pick out before you even go to the store and get it, again, you can get the measurements from side to side, top to bottom, because in the TV world, um, they give you the dimensions of the screen and running diagonally. So if it says 60 inch, it's 60 inch from corner to corner, uh, not across the bottom. That measurement will be smaller, so it helps if you have those measurements. I think people always come in wanting to spend a certain amount a lot of times they'll spend more money on their TV because they want all the toys that are out there nowadays as opposed to uh, spending a whole lot of money on the cabinet to put underneath it. Uh, so I don't think that they come in with uh, sometimes the right expectation as far as what a TV stand is going to cost. I mean, you're probably starting at $199 and you could probably go all the way up to $2,000 depending on who's making it. Where is it imported? Is it American made? Is it solid wood? You know, so if, if anyone has a question about uh, what they should be getting as far as the questions for the TV stand or entertainment center, um, one thing they can do is go to our chat on our website and ask those questions. Or you can contact a, a sales associate uh, at one of our stores and we'll all be more than glad to help you help you figure it out. Um, we can ask questions to you to help make sure you get the right one that's good for you.